Hey guys, we are checking out a new MMORPG called Avatar that is global launched very recently. It's a free to play open world MMORPG that came out cross platform. I'm playing it on an emulator, uh, but you guys can get it on your app store and play store. This is a play to earn MMORPG with the crypto NFT functions, but I'm going to be reviewing the game, not the NFT and crypto stuff. If you guys want to know more about that, probably check out their website. So let's jump into today's video, let you guys know if this game is worth playing or not. And uh, we are here. In the character selection screen we have the first class which is the knight so the knight specializes in the defense i'm guessing this is the Ooh, so you can choose so the knight has subclasses so we have sword and shield weapon of choice it says here and then you have sword and dagger okay interesting so you can play uh different subclasses with this it seems like nice we like that so this is the shield class then we have the, the archer the bow so you can use a bow and crossbow. Ooh, gives me a little bit of RuneScape vibes. You know? Bow and crossbow. Archer. Long range attacker. Then we have uh, the mage. Mage, we have a wand and staff. Ooh, a wand. Harry, Harry Potter? Question mark? And I'm, uh, unfortunately, they're not showing me the wand. They're just showing me the staff. Like one of the weapons. And then we have the rogue, the dagger. Nice. Okay. So I'm guessing this will be the healer of the game it doesn't say much about being able to heal though it just says a wand but i'm guessing if they have a shield they should have a healer so this is the classes at least we have a close range dps we have range dps we have the mage and then we have the sword so they have a bunch of classes i'm guessing like if it's four classes with uh subclasses eight classes total not bad we're gonna go however uh as i can see right now we have gender lock and you guys know me i like to play the female class, so we're gonna play the rogue, I guess. Create character, yes. Any character customization? Let's see. No character customization at all. Okay, so they are actually going the play to earn NFT way where they're more focused about the crypto function, maybe, than the game itself. You guys know me, I review the games no matter how they are. If they're bad games, I'll tell you guys they're bad games. If they're good games, I'll tell you they're good games. So let's see here. You can, uh, you can touch and move, but you can also use the joystick. The movement feels super clunky. Oh my god. I think it's easier for me to just hit tap to move than the joystick. Okay, complete a quest. I have auto quest. This is a very like old school fashioned game. We have a lot of autos. We have... Uh... So these are the skills right here on the bottom, it seems like. Very old school type, I have to say. Now, it game does have... I thought it had full 3D. It doesn't even have full 3D. It's 2.5D. Not very uh, impressed so far by this game, I have to say. And we have... We're, we're... Okay, let's do this quest. It is not optimized at all right now. It feels very clunky, I have to say. So this is more like an NFT crypto project from what I see. Because... This game, yes, you know, it gives you like this old school vibe where you can play and grind the game. But I think the whole, the whole, uh, the whole uh, uh, game is based on you grinding and farming the crypto and NFTs. Because so far, not very good. Let's try out the combat. Let's see how the combat is. Can we? Let's see. Can I move while using these skills? Not really. Yeah, the combat isn't great either. This is more for like the people that enjoy super classic old school games. This is not like if you're looking for a new unique game to blow you away. This is definitely not it. And uh, the camera angles, you know, I don't like the Like we have these three camera angles. We have this camera angle and this game is, is not 3D. But we have this camera angle. You have this camera angle. You have this and you have this. That's it. We'll have to see the shop though. Oh, we defeated the quest already. I have to pay attention. Okay, next quest, please. Yes, teleport for free. So the same. <laughs> they gave me the this. I had this quest four times in a row. Okay, I'm doing the tutorial right now, and they're telling me to defeat these demon catchers four times. Like, can I get a new quest? You know what this game it reminds me of a lot? It gives me a, a Warhammer Odyssey. You guys remember Warhammer Odyssey? Was a, this game gives me Warhammer Odyssey vibes. The difference was that Warhammer Odyssey was actually good at the start. Then uh, the developers went crazy and made like a NFT game and 
didn't make any updates to stuff and uh probably was gonna happen to this game too this game is so far not good at all like even with the classical feel it's just uh not it like let's see what it has a lot of content though it seems like you have dungeons we have rankings we have pp we have world raid okay so there's a lot of content in this game it seems like so gameplay is not great very classical type gives me a lot very runescape i said at the start too when i'm making characters very runescapey vibes from this game i have to say very classical type i have to pay attention i keep with quests but like when you're going for a classic mmr but you cannot have auto quests it does not make sense auto quest is for those newer mmrpg a classical grindy mmrpg is supposed to be grinded they're not supposed to have auto quest in it it's just they definitely did not hit the ball with this one if i ever made like a classic mmrpg i would never make it auto because it takes the whole that's the whole beauty of a classic mmrpg is that you can grind endless grind you farm that same mob a hundred times you know what i mean that's that's what it's all about But this game is just, they just they didn't understand. I mean, they kind of need auto if you're going to grind for the cryptocurrency, I guess. But auto quest is just not it. Okay, we have a little boss fight here. Defeating the boss on auto, look at me. I mean, the boss looks cool though, I have to say. The boss looks cool, but... Oh, this game was a very, uh, a big miss in my opinion. But we have to see, let's say that pay to win shop. Because crypto games, you kind of have to... What I am... I've been playing a lot of crypto games recently. I mean, not actually grinding crypto games, guys. But playing there for the videos. And what I'm seeing more and more with these crypto games is... If you want to make money with crypto, you have to spend a lot of money. Okay? Because that's how they make the money. You, far, you grind, you get the best gear, you buy the best gear. Then you can grind and drop the best stuff then you can sell it so it's like a investment but you don't make that much money at the end you know what i mean and it's only the top top players that can take advantage of this and this is what i'm getting from this game too okay let's just put uh yeah this is good i want to kind of look at the the stuff here close this oh well, we got a battle pass you can pay to win a battle pass how much is this if i want to buy Yes, I would like to go to the shop. How much is this? Okay. You can buy a battle pass with this currency, 2000, and then there's packages here. Celebration packages. Rubies. Rubies. 500 gold. Grow seeds. Okay. Launch package. And ancient skill enhancements. Rare armor growth. So you can upgrade your armor and gear with pay to win. So this is straight up pay to win. And I think they have like a gacha too. Yeah, so they have gachas too. And they have pay to win in the shop. So basically what they want you to do is you buy these packages, buy a battle pass, and you spend the money in the game. So you want you to spend money, become strong, and then you can grind for the crypto in this game. And it seems like they do have some kind of content. Honestly, I don't like this type of like most... I'm going to be honest, 99%, I'll be saying this in my most videos, 99% of these crypto MMOs are a sham, okay? They are just there to think that you can make money, but the reality of these games are, first of all, the game isn't big enough, the population isn't big enough for you to earn money. Most of these games, they start off very good and then they drop in price very fast, so... If you guys are trying to look for an MMRPG to earn money, uh, it's just it's just not going to work, okay? And if these crypto games are getting outdated because there's so many of them, and there are so many that are just bad, and this is just one of them. If you want to play this game for the beauty of like a classical game, definitely check it out because it's been a while since I've seen like a classical game. Uh, even though it's auto combat and everything, it has like the old school vibe to it. But that's about it. I won't play this game for anything else. Like, they might have some good PP. Uh, not good PP, I'm sorry. They might have some classical PP. Some classical dungeon and some raids. Uh, oh, there's a lot of players here too. But I don't see this game being like... Uh, 
oh my god, I want to play this game every single day, you know? Even though it should be, because it's a classical MMORPG. But that is it, guys, for this uh, video. Avatar, it is out on the App Store. My opinion, I'm giving this game a 3 out of 10. The reason I'm giving it a 3 out of 10 is because they do have a lot of classes. And, and it has uh, been a while since I've seen like an old school MMORPG. Uh, but there's a lot of minuses with this game. The combat, super clunky and not very fun at all. Uh, they have a cash shop where you can pay to win. There's no character customization in the game. Uh, and there's the auto combat in an old school MMORPG, which doesn't make sense. So that is it. That's my review for the game. Hope you guys enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Check out this video right here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.